Hello everyone, CDNet here with another update from the Avalanche ecosystem. It's been a hectic day, but this one I have been personally looking forward to. It's FE Domains. Uh, basically, for those of you who are not familiar with it yet, you can claim your .avx domain, you can attach a wallet address to it, you can attach a nickname to it, basically your identity. And I just want to take you straight into it, explain to you what it does along the way. So first thing you'll see is that currently you cannot claim any address below 10 characters. Now this is just to avoid people claiming the first name.afx or like all the first name.afx that are out there. Uh, I expect those will be maybe listed in an auction. And in some cases if they, uh, you know, kind of belong to a business, maybe there will be some reservation way to do it. So because I need at least 10 characters and CDNet is 8 characters, I'm going to turn this one into CDNet YouTube and pray that it's still available, but I suspect it is. And then I'd, it's only one AFX plus transaction fee, so I think that's very reasonable personally. I mean, the only other time I was trying to buy a, a website address for a school project, I was quoted 100,000, so <laughs> anything, than that, or anything cheaper than that works for me, right? Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see it succeeded. Now I just need to go to my domains. It's available now. I can fill in a C chain address here. I'm just gonna copy that one from my MetaMask. I can fill in a nickname here. The nickname does not have to be unique; it can be anything. And the avatar is where you would upload the picture URL. Now I'm lazy and I'm using uh, ImageBB, but you can use any other site as long as you can host a picture there that's uh, callable. So, for example, Gravatar is another option. I'm gonna copy the ad the uh, image address paste it here and it should be callable. By the way, you should save all of these, which are also a transaction because they have to be written to the uh, chain. Now you could also fill in your X chain address, of course, but because every domains mostly interacts with on the C chain. So with your MetaMask address, I'm just going to leave it for that for myself. Also, I know there are things in the work, such as an option to upload your picture from here and some sort of validation checks to make sure you're not filling in any information that doesn't fit the expected response. So now that I've quickly saved all these, I can also make a new subdomain, which is basically any prefix you want in front of it. So you, let's say I have a wallet for car payments. I can have car payments.cedernetsyt.avex. And then you can refill in this information to so a different uh, address, for example, and make it car payments, right? Uh, I'm not saving it because I don't actually have a second wallet for car payments, but this is an idea. So back on my main address, I'm going to mark this one as main. This means that uh, users, for example, apps that use the FE domains, if they have my CChain address, so if I connect to them with MetaMask, for example, they will now be able to see my avatar and my nickname, which I think, you know, is a really cool way to add identity to, to apps. And I'm really curious to see how people are going to make use of this in, uh, you know, in their apps. Other cool things they're working on that I know of, I think there is going to be a option to trade your domains. That's why I think we have to be careful with people claiming all the first name that Avex domains right now. And secondly, I think they're working on the option to make your address kind of function as a DNS. So make it point towards the websites. So for example, if you look for my domain, you could actually find my YouTube channel. Guys, that's the short introduction for now, but I think there's gonna be many more things that are gonna be, be able to build on top of this, both from the FE domains, as well as from other apps. Really looking forward to that. But for now, let me know if you claim your own. I will put mine, I think, in my Twitter bio, and we'll take it from there. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.